My name is Lala and welcome to World First Class Entertainment News. Now, as you guys know, award season kicked off this last weekend with the Golden Globes. Last year, the season was very controversial, but this year so far, it's been great to see all these actors and celebrities come together and truly celebrate one another. You're seeing the old generation mix in with the new and everybody is just giving one another their flowers and they were truly there to celebrate. It was a year of first for many of the actors at the Golden Globes this year. You saw Michelle Yeoh, Kihi Kwan, and Tyler James, who are no strangers to being at the Golden Globes, but finally there to truly get celebrated for all the work they've accomplished. Michelle Yeoh has been in the industry for over 40 years, and she definitely made sure to take her time up on stage. She even said to everybody, as the music started to come on, shut up, please. She was very sweet about it. I can beat you up. And she took her time to have her moment and give her speech. We just need to celebrate Michelle Yeoh for that. Tyler James was there when he was 13. He also took home an award that night with Eddie Murphy, giving him a standing ovation. And Kihi Kwan, after 30 years in the industry, starting out as Indiana Jones, he beat out Brad Pitt this year. And he was so emotional and you could truly see the joy in his face as everybody celebrated him. Thank you for believing in me in those moments that I didn't even believe in myself. I'm so grateful to you. Another person we need to celebrate this year was Austin Butler. He was definitely the talk of the show in the way that he portrayed Elvis. His involvement in trying to get Elvis right and did because he studied him for two years, he nailed him. He, he had Elvis down pat. Lisa Marie Presley was even there and she got very emotional discussing how she felt as she saw him filming this movie and then saw the way that it came to life. Now they may not have taken home any awards this year, but the Golden Globes certainly had their prom king and prom queen. I'm giving prom queen this year to Rihanna. Rihanna decided to not walk the red carpet this year, but she's just a few weeks shy of her Super Bowl performance and she was definitely the talk of the show. Now for our prom king, that definitely has to go to Brad Pitt. He did not take home best actor, but- Brad, I love you. I think they got my name wrong. Yeah. That definitely has to go to Brad Pitt. He did not take home best actor, but he made his way into so many different speeches. Austin Butler gave him a shout out. Quinta Bronson gave him a shout out. And I don't know if anyone caught this, but I think someone's name was mispronounced. I believe she preferred to be called This is Pitt. Now there were certainly some amazing moments at the awards this year. We first need to talk about Eddie Murphy, who gave some great advice. Pay your taxes, mind your business, and keep Will Smith's wife's name. Well, that was for last year. We're not gonna keep going there. A few other great moments were Jennifer Coolidge, who has been in the industry for so long, and she was just so genuinely excited to be in this field and still working and happy to be there. Mike White also made his way on stage, but he was a little too drunk to deliver his original speech he had planned in Italian. 